I get asked this question a lot by small business owners. They say, hey, Tama, I've got huge dreams for my business, huge aspirations. I want to make a massive impact. I want to be able to have a multi-million dollar business and I know I can do it. In three years time, I'm going to be there. However, I said that three years ago and I'm still where I am today. Because you know what? Today, I need to put food on the table. Today, I need to pay the bills and make ends meet and I need to find one or two or three clients so that they can actually make that happen and I'm just running in this vicious circle and I can't get out of it. So am I being unrealistic in thinking of how I can make a better world for my business and me and my lifestyle and the people I want to impact? Am I just being blatantly foolish and unrealistic? The answer is no. You have a huge disconnect between where you want to go tomorrow or three years time and what you're doing today. And those two are completely probably in conflict with each other in opposing fields. And what we need to do is we need to try and find a way that you can still carry on being realistic and doing what you need to do today to put food and on the table and make the bills happen. However, we need to make sure that what you're doing today actually is on a path to where you're going to go in the future. All this and a whole bunch more in the rest of this video. Ready to get on with it? Let's go. Hit it. So I want to be able to take three, four weeks off where I can go and travel and still make sure that I don't have to worry about finances. Let's break this down a little bit. What is going on is you've got two very clear sort of agendas. Uh, and those agendas need to sort of be aligned. If you don't have them aligned, they're going to be in conflict with each other. Because when you're sitting down thinking about the future, you're thinking like high level, you're thinking from the top down bird's eye view, and you're saying, hey, let me think about vision. Let me think about strategy. Let me think about where my business is going. And then you come in today and then you say, yes, but I need to do this today. And yes, I need to do that. That can just park aside now. I don't care about that stuff. And what you are not doing is because you've got this huge vision, you can't go around chasing trends if you just basically look at three years ahead because you don't know what the trends are going to be in two years time. But what happens is that you have got these conflicting things where you're basically saying, right, this is what I need to do today. And this is where I need to go tomorrow. And psh, there is a cut between them. And you keep on fighting this corner without really seeing the path to that potential point. And this is where your overall business strategy really comes in. It is really, really important to make sure that you understand where your end destination is and understand where all the potential obstacles are going to be in that in your way. And those potential obstacles can be today's cash flow, today's issues. Those potential obstacles can be I can't even get one client, let alone a thousand that I need to have so that I can have a seven figure business. So what you should be doing is you should be working top down, not bottom up. And what's happening in most of our cases is that we're getting so overwhelmed and so worked up in actually working at the bottom level where you're working inside your business. And that's going to be inevitable. When you're starting a business, you're going to have to work inside your business at some point in time, because a lot of people say, you know, you need to be working on your business, not inside your business. But all of that is, again, idealistic and we need to live in the real world. Yes, you should be working on your business. However, you need to be working inside it until you can feasibly go and hire out other people to be able to work inside your business so that you can actually work on your business. And what you should be doing then is saying, right, Let's have a look at this. Let's look at business strategy. Let's look at the top level and say, this is where I want my business to go. Here are the potential obstacles for me that will get in my way and sit down and try and figure out a path that will help you navigate through those obstacles. And everything that you're doing today needs to be singularly focused on getting you to that destination. So if your destination is to basically say, right, I need to sit there and look at sort of collaborating with influencers so that they can help me market my business whilst I focus on business to business only sales and not to customers, then what you're beginning to do is you're beginning to build a strategy where you're saying, these are the things that I'm going to do in a few years time. And then what do I need to do starting today that can actually work today so that I can actually build that in entire journey? And how do I navigate from that? And then at the same time, what you do is you say, right, like, what do I need to do today to make ends meet? And this is the bare minimum that I need to do. And what you essentially want to be doing is you want to be starting at this point here, 
with what's happening today because that's like you know where you are and this is where you want to be but you can't work on that because that's actually a way off and what you want to be doing is you want to be mapping out a path where you're reducing the stuff that you're what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can you start doing the other stuff that's actually going to get you to that destination until they align with each other and then you should be able to progress after that. It's all good and well talking about sort of concepts and talking about these particular things. But what you can be doing is you can be saying, right, actually, one of the things that I need to be doing is I need to be looking at talking with influencers and I need to be able to get them on my side so that we can actually market this business in, in the right way. I need to be focusing on these particular elements that will differentiate my product or service inside my business that will make me have that standout differentiator in three years time. And what do I need to do today to be able to make that happen? What does that actually look like today? How many of these products or services do I need to sell today? And at what level does they do they need to be at? Do they need to have every single feature that is going to make me a standout product or service? No, it might need one out of a list of 10. And you basically say, right, if I'm going to focus on this, I don't want to go and start podcasts. I don't want to go and start, you know, YouTube channels. I don't want to go and start Facebook ads. I don't want to go and start this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get myself on as many podcasts as possible so that I can actually get people to be, you know, aware with me of me. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a very, very clear sort of social media strategy where I'm reaching out to influencers and having that networking ability so that they can start promoting my product, see how much it's going to cost me so that I can actually keep building those relationships and so on and so forth. And in the meantime, what I can do is I can do a lot of that little hustle work that I need to be able to bring in these clients until my sort of influencer network actually kicks in. And you're building that singular focus where you're saying, that's the focus, that's my path. Here's going to be an obstacle. All right, cash flow is an obstacle. So what do I need to do? I need to actually have someone, I need to have money to be able to pay for influencers, but I don't have that money today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to sell this amount of product and service. I'm going to take out a proportion of that money and actually put it towards paying for influencers. And what you're doing is that you are just purely focused on that entire destination, that entire journey, and you're not letting anything else get in your way, anything else get in your way. And there will be other things. And what you need to be doing is you're saying, you know, everything that hits me left, right and center, if it doesn't impact my business today negatively, then I'm not going to worry about it because I know where my destination is and I'm going to keep getting there. If you carry on just in that vicious cycle where you're working only on focusing on bringing in the money for today and paying the bills for today, in three years time, you're going to be at the same place. And that destination of three years time is going to be shifted to six. No. And it's going to be continuously shifted because you haven't made any progress in that path. And that's what you need to focus on. Take a step back, sit down, map out your path. You need to get to that point where you are working more so on your business than inside your business as quickly as possible. As quickly as feasibly, financially, time-wise as possible, you should be trying to get rid of any of those sort of like tedious tasks that you should not be doing in your business the minute you can afford them because because your value inside your business is not going to come from doing those menial like tedious tasks your value and your input inside the business is going to come from the outside from the top down where you say this is how I, my business is going to stand out this is how we're going to take our business to the next level you should have those two agendas completely aligned with each other.